Welcome to another video from Car Help for You. So today we're going to show you how to use the diagnostic machine. Uh, the machine I'm using myself today is a D900 2016 version. It does basically nearly every single car. It is an OBD version. It does nearly every car. And it was only about £20 to buy off eBay, so it's a good little bargain. It helps you out a lot. So first of all, you make sure the ignition's off. Nothing's displaying on the dash. Uh, come back to the machine. The machine itself won't be actually powered on until you connect it in, but obviously you just power it on from there. The method to connect it in is you find the OBD switch on the car and you just plug it in. So I'll plug it into the OBD on the CIB the 2010. Once that's in, the machine recognises it through on here. Um, in order for this machine to actually work, you need to make sure that the key in the ignition is on the first position. So, as you can see, that'll just pop in and out. So, if we turn it to the first position, the speedometer, all the lights will come on. However, the car isn't fired up. Then all you do is search for the car. However, I've already done this diagnostic on this car, so I know it's not going to show up in the menu there. What I'll do is, as it's not showing up, I'll just go to Other, press Enter, and I'll go to New Scan and press Enter. As you can see, it's detecting it. So, what I'll do is I'll go to Read, the DTCs, this is basically just the codes. This car itself has a mass or airflow air circuit low input. Um, I can understand most of you won't know what this means. Just put it in on YouTube, put it in on Google, or just drop me a message and I'll explain to you what it is. The code for it, in fact, is on top P0102. Uh, in order to erase this code, because I've already so I've already dealt with this issue, what I'll do is I'll go down to erase, enter again. And it will just erase the DTCs, erase it successful. So I'll go escape. I'll exit back out of it. I'll put the machine back down. I'll unplug it from there. Once I've unplugged, I'll actually turn the car back off, as you can see. Keys came back out of it. I'll put it back in. And then I'll fire it back up. And one of the issues that I had on the car have actually now been resolved. Now on to the next problem. Please like, share and subscribe if this has helped you.